Hello, and welcome to a mind-boggling adventure into the world of the super, super small. Have you ever wondered what everything is made of? Your favorite toy, the snack you're eating, the air you're breathing, and even you? Well, the answer is the same for all of them. Atoms. Atoms are the teeniest, tiniest building blocks of everything in the entire universe. They are so small that you can't see them with your eyes, not even with a regular microscope. You'd need a very special, very powerful microscope to even get a fuzzy glimpse of one. They are the fundamental ingredients for everything that exists, a bit like tiny, invisible Lego bricks that click together to build the world. Atoms work in a very similar way. Scientists often describe an atom as being like a miniature solar system. In the center of our solar system, we have the sun, which is big and heavy. And flying all around the sun are the planets. An atom has a very similar structure. It has a dense, heavy bit in the middle, and then it has other tiny particles that whiz around the outside. There are three main family members, the protons, the neutrons, and the electrons. First up, let's meet the protons. Protons live inside the nucleus, that dense center we talked about. Protons have what we call a positive electrical charge. You can think of this charge like a personality trait. Protons are always positive and upbeat. The number of protons in an atom is super important because it decides what element the atom is. An atom with one proton is always hydrogen. An atom with six protons is always carbon. It's like a passport. The proton number is its identity. Next, meet the neutrons. Neutrons are the protons' neighbors, and they also live in the nucleus. As their name suggests, neutrons are neutral. They don't have a positive or a negative charge. They are perfectly balanced. Their main job is to be the peacemakers in the nucleus. Our third family member is the zippy little electron. Electrons are the tiny particles that whiz around the outside of the nucleus. Compared to the heavy protons and neutrons, electrons are incredibly lightweight, almost 2,000 times lighter. Now that we know about the energetic electrons buzzing around the outside of an atom, let's look at their most important job-making friends. Atoms are rarely alone. They love to connect with other atoms to form groups called molecules. Think of water, which has the chemical formula H2O. That means it's a little team made of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom all holding hands. Electrons don't just fly around randomly. They are arranged in layers or shells around the nucleus, a bit like the layers of an onion. The innermost shell can only hold two electrons. The next one can hold eight and so on. Atoms are happiest and most stable when their outermost shell is completely full. To do this, they can either give away, take, or share electrons with other atoms. The first atom can give its lonely electron to the second atom. Now, both atoms are happy because they both have full outer shells. Another way atoms can make friends is by sharing electrons. They move close together and let some of their electrons orbit both of their nuclei at the same time. It's like two friends sharing a toy so they both get to play with it. It might seem like atoms are something you only find in a science lab, but they are absolutely everywhere. Let's start with the air you are breathing right now. The air is mostly made of nitrogen and oxygen molecules. When you breathe in, your body uses those oxygen atoms to create energy to keep you alive. Now, think about the food you eat and the water you drink. A simple glass of water is filled with countless H2O molecules, which are just teams of hydrogen and oxygen atoms. An apple is made of water, sugars, and fibers. These are all just very big molecules made from atoms like carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, all linked together in long, complicated chains. Let's look at the objects in the room around you. That wood is mostly made of a complex molecule called cellulose, which is a very, very long chain of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. The plastic case on your phone? That's also made from long chains of atoms, mostly carbon and hydrogen, in a structure we call a polymer. And what about you? Yes, you are made of atoms, too. Your body is an incredible collection of about seven octillion atoms, that's a seven followed by 27 zeros. That's more atoms than there are stars in the observable universe. We've said that atoms are small, but it's really hard to get your head around just how small they are. Imagine a single grapefruit. Now imagine you could blow that grapefruit up until it was the size of the entire planet Earth. If you could do that, a single atom inside that grapefruit would be about the size of a blueberry. Take a single drop of water. 
In that tiny drop, there are more water molecules, which are teams of atoms, than there are drops of water in all the oceans on Earth. Let that sink in for a moment. You could fit about 500,000 atoms across the thickness of a single human hair. A single sheet of paper is about half a million atoms thick. When you write with a pencil, you are leaving a trail of graphite on the paper. That gray line you see is actually a pile of carbon atoms, thousands of layers deep. If you could take all the atoms that make up every single human being on the planet, all eight billion of us, and you squished them all together to remove all the empty space, it would be about the size of a sugar cube. That's right. All the solid stuff of every person on Earth could fit into a tiny box. Understanding atoms isn't just a fun science fact. It has completely changed the world we live in. The device you are reading this on right now, a computer, a tablet, or a phone, is a perfect example of atomic science in action. The brain of your device is a microchip, which is a tiny slice of silicon. Another amazing technology that comes from our knowledge of atoms is nuclear energy. In certain very large atoms, like uranium, we can get that nucleus to split apart. This process, called nuclear fission, releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of heat. Take solar panels, for example. When light particles, called photons, hit the atoms in the solar panel, they can knock electrons loose. The panel is cleverly designed to collect all these loose electrons and guide them into a wire, creating an electrical current. Our knowledge of atoms has had a huge impact on medicine, helping doctors see inside our bodies and treat diseases in ways that were once impossible. X-rays can pass through soft tissues but are stopped by denser materials, like your bones. MRI machines use powerful magnets and radio waves to interact with hydrogen atoms in your body's water molecules. The adventure is far from over. Scientists are still exploring the mysteries of the atomic and subatomic world. They are building massive machines like the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland, which are like giant racetracks for particles. In the future, our understanding of atoms will lead to even more incredible innovations. Imagine materials that can repair themselves when they break, just by rearranging their own atoms. Think about tiny nanobots, machines built on an atomic scale, that could travel through our bloodstream to deliver medicine directly to a sick cell. So the next time you look at the sky, drink a glass of water, or just look at your own hand, remember the secret, invisible world that makes it all possible. You are part of a grand cosmic construction project built from the stardust of ancient stars, one amazing atom at a time. The story of the atom is our story, and it is a story that is happening everywhere all the time.